Hi, this video is going to be about EKGs. Um, the technical term is electrocardiograms, but we refer to them as EKGs. They're also sometimes referred to as ECGs. Um, I've never really heard them referred to as uh, ECGs in all the time that I've been dealing with my heart. Um, but I know they are referred to as ECGs, maybe in England or other areas. I'm not sure if you know where they're referred to as ECGs. You can feel free to comment. Um, it makes more sense to refer to them as ECGs because it's called an electrocardiogram. That's ECG. But um, I've never heard them referred to as that before. I refer to them as EKG. So for this video, um, you'll only hear me refer to it as EKG. So an electrocardiogram is really simple. It is the easiest test that you will ever have. In fact, the prep time takes more than the actual time of the test. Um, it, the prep time takes anywhere from two to four minutes. Um, basically, it's a machine and the tech will type in your name and your information and the machine has a wire hooked up to it and the wire has a bunch of little wires that come off of it, which are called leads. The leads connect to the electrodes that they are gonna put on you. The electrodes are usually round or square stickers that they place in various spots on your chest. The leads will come, they'll snap to those electrodes. You can see my halter monitor video for what they look like um, because they're the same, basically the same electrodes. So the leads come off and they attach to those electrodes that they've placed in various spots on your chest. The tech after they do that, the tech will tell you to lay still, try not to talk, and try not to cough or sneeze. So you're gonna lay there for literally like 10 seconds. It's so quick and so easy. You're, they're gonna tell you to lay flat, don't talk, don't cough, and bloop, they're done. You're gonna be like, what, they're, you're finished already? They'll be like, yep, we're done. So they're gonna unhook you, and then you're free to go unless you have to see your, your cardiologist or something. It is literally the fastest, easiest test that you will have done. And you're gonna be like, wow, I worried for nothing. It, it's simple. Um, here's a pretty interesting fact. When I was a kid, um, I used to have to get the EKGs done back then. And back then they had like suction cups. So it was like a little metal piece that had like a little pink piece attached to it. And they would squeeze that and would clamp to your skin. And they would place that all over your chest. And when they were done, they would un suction them, and you'd have little red dots all over your chest. So it would look like you got into a fight with an octopus or something. It was pretty cool, but um, yeah, and interesting. So they don't do that anymore. They just place the little electrodes all around and, um, and they connect the leads to that. And there's nothing, it doesn't leave any kind of marks unless you're sensitive to tape or to, to the stickiness of those electrodes. They'll leave maybe little small red marks if you are sensitive. I mean, unless you have a severe allergy, but I am allergic to the tapes and I get the red irritation and the scratching and the itchiness. And the EKGs don't usually do that to me. Once they pull them off, they're good. You're good to go. So unless you have a severe sensitivity, you can expect to not have any kind of pain. It's the equivalent of ripping off a Band-Aid unless you're a male and you have a hairy chest, then it's gonna hurt a lot more. Um, but if you're female or you're a kid and you don't, you don't have any hair on your chest, it's not painful at all. So like I said, the equivalent of ripping off a Band-Aid. Um, so hopefully uh, this video about EKGs helped you a little bit so you can understand it. So if your cardiologist says you have to go in for an EKG, then you will know what to expect. It's not scary, it's not painful, it is so simple. Uh, you can see my halter monitor, monitor video, um, which is basically I show you what the electrodes and are look like, and halter monitor is basically a moving EKG. So uh, thank you for watching my video, and if you want, you could subscribe. Um, you could also check out my channel and see what other videos are there that might help you if you have to have other tests in the future. And just be on the lookout for anything new that I might post. Uh, probably my next video that I'm going to be posting will be about echocardiograms. So thank you for watching and subscribe if you want to. Thanks.